Hey Techies, Anthony from Hashtag here, and today we're going to once again check out the Antium Amplified Indoor, Outdoor, Digital, HD, TV, Antenna, Solar Array, Space Shuttle, uh, blah 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 2022 release. I made up some of that just for comic effect. Anyway, based on its functionality and the content of the previous video, which you can see in the description, there's a link, uh, you could probably guess my conclusion. Uh, when we get back, I will tell you why you should not buy this item. So sorry about the shaky camera, but I need a third hand. So we're going to um, basically plug this into the USB port on the back of the television, this in the coaxial, and then we'll try to program it. Now the antenna with this long, long cord is uh, I'm just going to stick on top of the speaker for right now and I'm going to just try to get it to work the way it can. So on here is it says long range and short range. You can switch between them. Um, I have no idea what the difference is but obviously as I had mentioned in last week's video it doesn't quite matter. This isn't getting 120 miles let alone 275 miles. Now, I live about 40 miles outside of Cleveland, Ohio, so I'm not expecting miracles. And yes, I realize that it would be better if it was near a TV, or sorry, not a TV, a window, but I do not uh, have a window that faces the TV station. Now, as you see, the green light came on, which means it is powered now. I'm not going to let you keep myself when I'm screwing this into the coaxial jack. And here we go. So this is a Vizio, I want to say 23-inch HD 1080p TV. So we're going to switch to the television right here. Now, there is no channels. I'm going to set up the channel it's gonna start searching you don't get to watch all this I'm gonna fast forward so you're you know you're gonna get the end result here so we're at 95% uh, and has picked up zero digital and zero analog channels again 40 miles away from Cleveland Ohio where there are CBS ABC NBC PBS uh, affiliates and um, it says we found nothing so I figure what we'll do is uh, go in the menu and see maybe maybe there's another setting I should be doing. Like let's go to channels. Let's see um, digital audio audio English. Okay, so let's find channels. And uh, I have a feeling it's it's still not going to find anything even doing it this way. It's a little bit faster, so that's a plus side. So. We'll come back to this when it's uh, near the end. So I just passed uh, 95, right, 96 percent, and again, zero digital channels, zero analog channels. You know, I, I'm wasting my time basically just to reaffirm what I've already said. But to be thorough, I have a north-facing window. So what I'm going to do is run it across the room and stick it in the window and see maybe just maybe it gets something and here we are again we're about to hit start it, the antenna is facing at the window obviously air conditioner in the windows I can't put it outside the window so the best I can do is next to the window so let's uh let's find channels and see if maybe we get lucky I will save you the boredom. We'll be back in a second, obviously. And we passed uh, 95% again. And I just wanted one quick correction. Uh, the cord's length is actually uh, three meters, or just uh, just over nine feet, uh, just short of 10. So that explains why I didn't have the extra slag I expected, because obviously I have this cord stretched all the way out. But as you can see on the screen, and I'm sorry if it isn't as clear as it could be, uh, it found nothing. So I think what I'm going to do is see if maybe I can find it individually. Now, in the description, there are links to good products that actually find channels. 
And when I was setting up a television for my mother using one of those fine products, it worked. And uh, you could basically find a frequency somewhere, but I have a feeling this isn't gonna let me do that. Wow. See, on the converter box on her TV, you can actually look up frequencies and see how the uh, how strong the channels are, but it looks like that is not an option on this Vizio TV, which says something about Vizio, I guess. Uh, but I guess they also assume that you'd be using cable or something a lot better than this product to uh, set itself up. But, you know, no channels, so I can't skip them. Essentially, we've wasted a half an hour doing multiple scans just to show that this device doesn't work this far from a major metropolitan area. And after multiple tests, we obviously see that this is not working. I mean, either I got a defective version or the uh, the truths are not true or, or the facts are not true. Or, or... <sighs> not to say I'm disappointed because I expected nothing from it the moment I, I knew it was ordered. But, uh, hey, whatever. On the plus side, you don't got to buy it. I just, I've saved you some money to show it really doesn't work unless you're in the most ideal of situations and uh, unless you're living in downtown, whatever the thing, you could probably get cheap internet or phone anyway. Let me close this out by reiterating my point. Do not buy this. Uh, there are better options in this video's description. If you have anything to say, please post it in the comments. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.